Hello, this is Dave at AFX Search, Licensed Investigators. Kind of a part two of the conversation we had earlier about developing business as an investigative agency. Uh, one of the things that comes up very frequently in discussions among investigators is pricing and uh, client resistance to our services. And the reason why I believe is clients are looking for a solution. They're looking for an answer. They're not looking for an investigator to provide surveillance. They're not looking to buy a uh, background check. They're not looking to buy uh, an interview. They're looking for an answer. They're looking for a solution. If an investigator can provide the answer to their question, the solution to their problem, or offer new solutions they may not have thought of, that's where the value comes in. You ever wonder why you see posts on message boards or questions from investigators? Why is my client asking me to do something illegal? What should I do if a customer wants me to do something that breaks the law? The reason why is because if you're only selling surveillance, many clients aren't gonna feel like they need an investigator for surveillance. In fact, a lot of clients will tell you, I can do my own surveillance. You ever sit down with an interview with a client that you're talking about surveillance and they tell you how they think they could do it better or they wanna get all excited about doing it themselves? Surveillance is not a valuable service to provide a client. That's why a lot of the inquiries that investigators are getting is only if you can do something illegal that they don't want to do themselves or they don't feel like they can do themselves. The traditional services offered by an investigator, surveillance, interviews, background checks, those are going the way of the dinosaur. More clients are feeling like they can do it themselves. Look, social media does the surveillance for us. Most uh, subjects of an investigation are doing surveillance on themselves and posting it on Facebook. So you don't really need surveillance in the way we used to. So sometimes the only thing that they want to call an investigator for is something illegal, right? So if you can provide a solution, that is going to be the value. Um, comes down to a metaphor. If you go to a restaurant, you look at something on the menu that's fifteen dollars, even if it's you know steak with uh, you know all the trimmings. Uh, that menu item really only costs a dollar or two in food for the restaurant. What makes it valuable is then putting it together into a solution for the diner. Same thing for an investigator. Take the information. Take Maybe it does involve investigation. Maybe it does involve background checks. Maybe it involves pulling some information from public records uh, and taking all that, not just putting it together into one file, but taking all those documents and coming up with one piece of paper that says, Here's the answer to your question. Here's the solution to your problem. Here's what you need. And maybe you didn't even know it yet, Mr. or Mrs. Client. That's what an investigator can offer. That's what an investigator can do to make the experience valuable to the client. Answer their question, solve their problem. So when both people walk away, the client can feel like their needs are served. They're, they don't have the anxiety they did about their problem. And investigators who can tweak their methods to be able to do that will be the ones that in 2015, 16, and 2020 will be very successful and have profitable agencies. And the ones who are just pulling background checks or doing surveillance may not be as um, thriving as the others. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too harsh. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, feedback, you can reach me at my website, afxsearch.com.